Hi, this is Josh and Jenna with Resort TV One, and we'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Merry Christmas, guys. We like to do these vlogs on Christmas Day, even though we can't be live or you know see you in real time, but we'd like to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. Hopefully you have an amazing Christmas morning going on, opening presents, just spending time drinking hot chocolate and staying warm. Yeah, yeah, I hope you're enjoying your Christmas morning, everybody, and uh, yeah, having hot cocoa, coffee, Christmas cookies. <laughs> That's right. Hopefully everybody got what they wanted today. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Santa came and, and uh, filled all the stockings and, and left some awesome presents. So uh, let us know in the comments if Santa came to your house and if he left some awesome presents. Yeah. And what kind of cookies you're having. <laughs> yes. That's right. Let us know what kind of cookies you're having as well. So we are here at Epcot. It's a few days before Christmas, but we want to do this so we wish you a Merry Christmas on Christmas Day. We're going to take a little stroll around World Showcase and talk to you about our Christmas traditions while we are strolling. Yeah. So, hope you enjoy the video. We thought we'd take you on a little peaceful stroll through Canada, the beautiful gardens here. It is a beautiful day, just a few days before Christmas, and uh, it was cloudy and rainy yesterday, but today it's perfect. Sun is out. The beautiful Victoria Gardens here in Canada. The summer house, that's right. <laughs> Guys, check it out. I spotted Olaf. Part of the uh, Olaf uh, scavenger hunt. We haven't done that this year yet. No, we haven't, but he's going around looking for holiday traditions. You can see in his sleigh there, I think it's Gingerbread Man in the sleigh. So that's pretty cool. And speaking of gingerbread man, we wanted to talk a little bit about our holiday cookie Christmas traditions. So Jenna, tell them a little bit about our cookies we like to make. Yeah, so ever since we were kids, we would always make candy cane cookies with uh, mom and dad. And we do it as a family. We'd um, make, you know, the cookie and shape them. And uh, yeah, they're our favorite. Now mom doesn't like peppermint, so they're not peppermint flavored, but um, they're like more of a shortbread kind of taste. Yeah, shortbread. There's a little bit of uh, salt kind of flavor to it yeah. as well. So it's it's really, really and, nice. Uh, powdered sugar. It's, they're good. Yes. And they look really cool because you use the red food coloring to make red um, pieces of dough. And then, of course, you use the regular tan dough color. So you kind of get this red and white candy cane look, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah. And they're fun because you get to roll them up and you get to twist them around. So let us know if you've ever made those before. Great. We're going to walk back here through the Canada Pavilion towards the amazing waterfall. If you've not walked back here, it's kind of off the beaten track, but really take the time to explore these countries because there's a lot more off the main World Showcase promenade that you might miss if you're not careful. Yeah, we don't get to come back here on the live stream very often because the signal is not very good. Good back here. So we thought, hey, let's go today on the walk. Let's go. Look at that. This is a hashtag the front side of water. And you can see the blue sky. You can see what an awesome day we have today. Now, as we walk up here, these actually used to be shops, but they uh, closed them down uh, even way before COVID. Like I'd say like 10 years ago, they closed them down. Weren't getting as much foot traffic up here, but still have some shops we'll show in just a second. And as we're continuing through beautiful Canada here, let's talk about one of our um, other awesome traditions that we have. Um, it was one of our favorites and no longer, we can't do it any longer because it was Osborne Spectacle of Lights over at Hollywood Studios. So we would get together on Christmas Eve uh, with our families and um, after our Christmas Eve dinner and presents, we would all get in, get in the car and head to Hollywood Studios and uh, just enjoy the evening checking out the Osborne Lights hot cocoa cookies yep. it was so fun the snope and if you go if you went well it doesn't matter now but if you went later in the evening it actually would be a lot less crowded yeah it would yeah so that was really really nice and it was just one of the traditions that we miss a lot um, and i should mention that la cellier smells amazing as we walk by there it so really did just picture in your in your mind the smell of smoked steak yeah amazing. so good but yeah, let, uh, leave us a comment if you guys ever got to see the Osborne spectacle of Dancing Lights. I think that was the official name, right? Yes. Um, let us know. It was awesome. I probably said the wrong thing, by the way. So I don't know, smoked steak. Anyway, smoked meat. It smelled amazing. <laughs> it smells like steak. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> As we look out over a beautiful World Showcase Lagoon, one of our other really, really important traditions to us was to decorate the tree together. We always decorated the tree 
when we had real trees, we were younger, it had to be a little bit closer to Christmas so they would last. But when we were a little older, we used um, the artificial tree and those you could decorate a little bit longer away. And we also had a calendar that we would all put like uh, little Velcro ornaments up on a tree as we would await Christmas. So there was like one for every day in December before the 25th. Yep. Yeah. And we would argue too, like who got to put up one, which one? <laughs> I think we finally ended up sharing most days. <laughs> All right, and as we come into France, make sure you post your holiday traditions in the comments down below so that we know what types of things you and your family did or still do, depending on, uh, you know, whether it's a historic thing or whether it's something that you still do. So let us know that. Let us know if you have any that are related to Disney World or any that you just do uh, when you're at home. So either way or both. And one more was that when we were at home and we lived in Indiana, we used to go to our grandparents' house uh, just about a half an hour away. And we would do that on Christmas Eve and open a bunch of presents there every single Christmas Eve. And then we would go over to, um, or then we would stay at our own house uh, on Christmas morning and open presents. So let us know if you guys open your presents on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. Everybody's got a different tradition on that. So another uh, tradition I thought of, um, Josh was talking about how we would decorate the Christmas tree together, but every year mom and dad would let us pick out a new ornament. And I always loved that because it was always fun to, you know, pick something new out and uh, especially an ornament that you could put on the tree and then bring it out year after year and like oh I remember this from last year right and for some reason I got into this trend where I got like little you know how I like animals <laughs> so I got little critters like either they were uh, like a mouse or squirrels uh, I still have them actually mom and dad kept them and then they gave them to me um, but yeah I always love that tradition and here we are in the America pavilion and uh, Santa is extra jolly right now which is awesome if you guys could hear that or not but he was doing a really really nice ho 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 for us so that's pretty cool it's a beautiful beautiful tree here this tree is trimmed with poinsettia garland which is really awesome i love that and i love how you can see um they decorate it with fruit as well yes cool. very amazing and so again please make sure you post your holiday traditions in the chat we hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year. Of course, we'll see you for New Year's Eve Eve and New Year's Eve, so that's going to be amazing. But today, enjoy time with your friends and family. Enjoy that Christmas dinner, whatever it is. Also, post your Christmas dinner. Yeah. Well, everybody has a different one. Some people have ham. Some people have turkey again. Some people have something totally different. So post post your, uh, your holiday meal traditions as well. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this quick little stroll around the World Showcase as we wish you Merry Christmas and talk about our Christmas traditions. So be sure to check out our awesome sponsors, MickeyTravels.com. If you want to book your next trip to Walt Disney World, check out MickeyTravels.com. They'll help you plan your next trip, and MickeyBlog.com will keep you up to date on all the latest Disney news. Yeah, and then go check out Victor Naraki. He is a realtor here in Central Florida. If you've ever dreamed about living near the magic, check him out at Disney at your doorstep.com. Resort That's right. And finally, if you would like to rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, check out Davis DVC Rentals at dvcrequest.com slash TV. And again, tell them Resort TV one sent you. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. We'll see you very soon. And in the meantime, give your family a hug today and enjoy that time. That's right. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful Christmas. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye